Hello and welcome to JT Guitar. Today we're going to be looking at five things you can do with guitar strings in their packaging rather than just throwing them out. So I think the first thing I'd like to show you is over here. These symbols which are magically staying on the wall. But actually they're using um, guitar strings. Let me show you in more detail how it's done. If you look closely you'll see in the centre there's a picture frame hook. And what I've done is nailed the ball end of the guitar string to the wall and then tied the pitch frame hook to the string. And then, obviously the shape of the symbol is what holds them on. So just make sure the length of the string is shorter than you know when it's sticking out the top. You want the length of the, where it's tied to the ball ends to be somewhere underneath the arch. I guess about halfway depending on the symbol size. So there we go. Use number one, symbol hangers. Very, very handy. Although obviously that only really applies if you're a guitarist and a drummer, which I'm not, but I have a drum kit. And um, yeah, I suppose you could, if you're in a band, you could do it for your drummer as a gift. Old strings, give him some symbol hangers. Be a nice thing to do. Now, this next one might look really vain, but I've only done it as something to do with guitar strings, and actually, it's just a nice thing to commemorate. So what I did is my acoustic guitar, I last restrung for a really nice gig that I played in Bedford, and it was with one of my friends, who has a channel, his name is Robbie Miller, and I'll post a link to his channel at the bottom. And he set up this really, really nice gig in a tattoo shop, and it's called the Tattoo Shop Sessions. Now that's the last time I restrung my acoustic, so I took those strings off, I rolled them up and I put them in this kind of 3D photo frame so that you can see the strings in there and then that's a picture of me from the gig and I've written at the bottom Tattoo Shop Sessions, March 2016. Idea number three is another one that's sort of a bit of hands-on crafty and this is again another one just for guitar strings. So let me get a close-up of what I've done here. What I've done here is taken a a clean leftover bit of string from doing a new restring and I drew with um, just with a pen on paper sort of the outline of the acoustic guitar then using a pair of pliers I bent that string to be the shape of an acoustic and what you can do with this is grab a blob of blue tack or white tack or any kind of tack if you can get black tack get some black tap roll it into a ball I'm going to stick it back here for my convenience. And then, poke your little guitar sculpture into that. And now, I'm going to obviously do this without the guitar sculpture and just poke your plectrums in the blue tack. But it's kind of a reminder that that's what it's for. Because otherwise, you might, if you didn't have the guitar in there, you might think, oh, it's blue tack, I'll use it. But no. This blue tech isn't for using, other than for this. So there we go. Got a little guitar string blue tack pick holder. Number four is another piece of decoration, and this is using the packaging rather than using the guitar strings. Right, so I do quite a lot of restringing, and recently I've just been, I don't want to throw away all the packaging or recycle it. I mean, obviously, if you're not going to use it, recycle it. But I just thought there must be something I can do with this, so I've just kept up quite a lot of the string packets and the little adverts that come inside the strings. Now what I'm proposing is a bit more decoration so I'm going to take those really colourful string packets and put them in a picture frame and you'll see any second what it looks like. So I've opened up the frame I'm going to use and what I've realised is you can see the, like, the wooden board behind it. So that's exactly where this stuff comes in that I've been saving up. What I'm thinking is I'll cover the board at the back with these, that way anything you can see between is still guitar string related. I haven't decided which colours to use. I might use the grey ones which are actually from the classical guitar strings, but just because then there's more of a strong pink and green, or lime green or whatever you call that, theme. So this, I'm going to have to use a print stick. First time I've used one of these. Forever. Let's make me feel like a little kid again. So, I've got these on for the background. What I did is, with the, I forget what you call this, 
I really don't know what you call it. This bit. I drew a pencil line around the edge to make sure you won't see any wood when this is on. But what's nice is, I'm just going to corner it a little bit, is that now you can just kind of scatter on the um, packs of strings. And it doesn't matter so much if you, because before I was going to do like all nine, but you could literally just do three or four or something. Well, what I was going to do is do it like this, tessellate them. So, you never experiment with a few different options. I was going to do eight actually, like that, and have them all squidged in. But then it feels, it feels over the top now because. You won't be able to see the nice background behind them, so I'm, I'm going to do some experimenting and you'll see what it looks at the end. So I've done some experimenting and I'm pretty settled on using six because, you know, the six, guitar the six guitar strings, it's just a very guitar number, isn't it? So what I'm going to do to actually stick them on is I'm going to use masking tape so I can undo anything that goes wrong quite easily. And I'm going to take the masking tape and just fold it back on itself like this. So it's now stick from both sides, and then I will stick it on the strings. And just stick it on. Like that. So, tape, pull it back on itself. Back on the string packet. I'm going to overlap where I've ripped it so that it stays a bit more flat, and then. It on. And I think actually, I'm going to do, make sure some of them are sticking out over the edge of that inner frame thing so that it's kind of looks like it's popping out of you a little bit. 3D decorative art. Decorative. Decorative <laughs> art. Like that. It's the edge of the frame. I think it's going to look quite cool when it's done. So, here is the finished article, which I think it looks pretty cool. I'm very happily going to have this up on the wall in the shop. I think it'll look really nice. There is one giant gaping flaw, which is that before I glued those that sort of paper backing on, I've got to check which way up the board was. So actually, if I were to hang it, it would have to hang upside down. So this, I'm going to have to use, I don't know, some like really good Velcro to hold it up on the wall. Like, it's really annoying. So make sure you check which way up you do the gluing before you actually get going with it. Now, my final project for what I want to do with these guitar strings is one that is much, much bigger and more complicated, but one that I'm really looking forward to. We've got these two massive bags of strings. Now, the plan is to do a great big mural which will cover this part of the wall, which is obviously very bland and boring. And what I'm going to do, this is why I have lighting, what I'm going to do is get a huge sheet of board and cover that in a mural of, I think, probably Jimi Hendrix, because my old shop, um, I used to have, I had a much smaller place, and I did a mural of Jimi Hendrix on the wall, and on the other wall, I did Jimmy Page. I'll show you some pictures on the screen of my old shop. And uh, I'd like to replicate that in guitar strings. So that's a much bigger project, it's gonna take a long time to do. But, um, you know, just keep checking back, <laughs> and hopefully I'll get to it eventually. If any of you guys get the chance to make any of these bits I've done, do feel free to tag me on Instagram. You can find me at jt.guitar on Instagram, because I'd love to see if you guys make it and what you've done, or any, any new ideas you've had. If you've got any ideas for more sort of DIY guitar crafty projects, do let me know in the comments below, and um, I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.